star nine 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 pound hey everyone welcome back to the clueless dad in today's episode we'll show you how to remove an rfid card from one of these generic china rfid keypad type door locks uh, so i've done separate videos introducing all the different functions as well as uh how to add a card and in this case i'll show you how to remove a card so if you don't have this instruction book um, i'll try to show it here and explain the steps i think they're all the same not just the coons one but basically all of these ones that look similar so uh, hopefully this will work for you even if you don't have this exact one so there's actually two ways of removing cards from this guy um, one is to swipe the card and the second one is to actually put in the card number so i hope you keep track of which card is which um, so that you know the number that it's added in, the sequential order, like if it's the fifth card or the sixth card that you've done. Um, because if you lose this card, that's the only way to remove it from the system. So let's, for example, if an ex-employee left and didn't give it back, then the only way to basically handle that is to wipe everybody's card out, reset the entire thing. And in that case, then you have to go back in and add everyone else again. So it's actually pretty important. So keep track. In this case, I just wrote 030405, um, except we have like, 30 something cards here because we're going to have pretty soon uh, upwards of 30 employees so i need to keep track of it and make sure i put them all in an order and hopefully i don't screw it up so let's first show you how to remove it um, with the card key and how to basically remove one card key at a time when you have the card key with you so in this case uh, this one's already programmed as you can see it it opens um, but uh, let's go through the instructions here so basically you want to do star and then your four digit admin passcode which in this case is still the default 9999. And then you wanna do pound and then two to delete the card. And then you wanna read the card and then you wanna hit pound and star. Okay, so let's see if this works now. It's blinking. Oh, no access. Okay, pretty good. So this guy's not coming back in. So that's how you remove it when you have the card key. Okay, so let's quickly add this guy back in. So I'm gonna do star 99. Nine, nine, then pound, then one, then swipe, and now it's blinking, and I do pound star to reset it. So now, as you can see, it opens again. So now card number three should be back in the third slot, because this is the highest I've done. So let's try to remove it by the number now. So we'll actually know if it's correctly done or not. Is this card number three or not? So in this case, you want to remove it by number. So we'll do star nine, 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 pound, then two, and then you type in the number, which in this case should be 003, and then pound star. So now the uh, moment of truth doesn't let you in. Okay, so it actually works. So this was called not 03, but 003. It is a three digit number. So that's basically it. Um, just make sure that you remember it's basically star and then whatever your admin code the default is 9999, and then pound, and then two, and then either swipe or type in the three digit number, and then pound star. So that's the mo most important thing to remember. Also, I really, really, really need to stress, if you haven't reset this admin password like I haven't, um, you must do it right away because anybody who has these instructions can basically go around and test it on all, not just this brand, but probably all of them. And if it's not 9999, it's probably 0000. Or something like that and they can get in and not only can they get in to your office but they can actually and give themselves access to your office forever um, but they can also remove your access to it by changing your password or resetting your password so not only can they you know stalk themselves in anytime they want they could also lock you out anytime they want so definitely 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 change it it's a huge security breach actually okay so that's it for today check out our other videos see you guys next time having the stroller with me all the time up in the overhead bin. As soon as we get off the plane, pull it out, unfold it, and walk off. You know, literally, that could save you 15, 20 minutes right there.